Business on a busy college street like this one is dominated by food joints with quick service, a lively crowd, and greasy grub. It may seem hard to one day ditch these delicacies, but a new study in the journal Nutrition and Diabetes claims that by changing our eating behavior, we can actually change how our brains react to high and low calorie foods. The Syracuse City School District is already ahead of the game in implementing these practices. We've been doing this uh, actively since 2010, and even prior to that with nutrient analysis, um, we've always looked at what we put on the tray for the kids. If you would like to serve that snack during the school day, you can do so. Ken Warner is the Director of Food and Nutrition Services of the Syracuse City School District, and he says the district has made a conscious effort to add fruits and vegetables to the school lunch menu. Syracuse University Instructor of Nutrition, Jane Uskadegi, agrees the district has been paying close attention to healthy eating and such, they're actually hoping to go back to scratch cooking where they actually use food products. Mm -hmm. They're less processed, less added fats, less sodium, um, and real food that's recognizable. So then kids learn, oh, this is a recognizable vegetable or fruit, and then they're learning to eat those mm -hmm. at home as well. So how do you really teach a child obsessed with junk food to throw that away in exchange for an apple? Mr. Warner says it's simple behavioral economics. You give them healthy food, they'll start to eat it and adjust. We've started putting fruits and vegetables on the trays. Children have to take them. Now you start witnessing the fruits very successful. Kids are starting to eat whole fresh fruit. It's a healthy move in the right direction. The vegetables, I'm sure, will move there. Fast food isn't going anywhere, that's for sure. But healthy food may be making a comeback. Michael Valente, NCC News.